Hi, welcome to Nurse On The Go video with our research series currently focusing on loneliness. We're going to take a look now about a piece that is called Escape Loneliness By Going Digital. This piece was presented in 2007 to the peer-reviewed journal Aging and Mental Health. Two researchers embarked on an intervention experiment. They sought out 15 elders who were lived alone, who were chronically ill or disabled, who had never used a computer before. They identified that this group were most likely to benefit from all that the internet had to offer. And they wanted to know whether open them to that door of possibility might decrease their loneliness. In terms of a literature review, they did a great deal of work on having a look at what others had written before them about the subject of elders and the lonely. In fact, their literature review was so extensive and they found so many profound aspects that we've dedicated an entire Nurse on the Go video in our research series just to the principles of what they discovered about the success factors and the solutions to loneliness. But why did they do this study? The authors made the point that they realised that it is the elders who possibly have the most to gain from the internet and all that it has to offer. We here in Iron Nightingale couldn't agree more. Online shopping, access to information, access to telehealth, maintaining relationship with friends and family, particularly those family members who are distant, access to education, all will benefit the elder immensely and keep them at home for longer. So in this study, 15 participants were provided with all the equipment as well as five two-hour lessons. The lessons consisted of basic operation, what the internet was and how to use email. The results of the study show that these elders experienced a reduction in their loneliness. It showed benefit particularly those who were experiencing emotional loneliness. Those who had a higher education did better and experienced a greater reduction in their loneliness. Participants improved in their ability to cope with their loneliness. Interestingly, and this was an unexpected result, participants found an increase in their self-confidence. Also, this experience was found to be able to put their loneliness into perspective. A couple of words though about the study methods. This was a tiny sample, 15 participants only. And that reduces our ability to move forward with the results confidently. Nevertheless, it's undeniable that this is an exciting insight into what could be a great intervention. And a great intervention, particularly those who live alone, who are chronically ill or physically disabled and are experiencing emotional loneliness. But it's possibly the words of one of the participants that capture their, her experience most beautifully. I guess I was becoming rather lonely here. It might sound strange, but all I was doing was caring for my children and grandchildren. Only things that had to be done. I didn't really come in contact with other people. My family lives far away, so I don't get to see them that often. I suppose that if you simply stay indoors and you're feeling down and out, no one will come and drag you out of it. Not even my children. They have life of their own, their own jobs and little pleasures. So no, that doesn't help either. When the world grows smaller, that's our project. Well, that's what happened to me. Then you just sit here, sit idly. You don't always enjoy watching television either. And you start reading a book, but you can't put your mind to it. And now this, escape, it's really quite something. You're occupied with something. Time flies and you improve your language a bit. In the beginning, well, the mouse would go all over the place except in the right direction. I've had, I guess, about five lessons, and for the rest, I did it by myself. I've managed. To start with, I knew nothing about computers. 
I saw my children had a computer, but it never really occurred to me that I would ever use it. I said, I don't think I'll ever learn this. This really is a computer age, especially for the children, but not for me. And then I said, yes. I was a little afraid. Well, afraid. You don't really have to be afraid, because if you don't like it, you can send it back, of course, and you can have them come and fetch it. But for me, that wasn't the case. I knew when they asked me, I would stick it out to the end. When my grandson said, well, Grandma, and he actually always calls me Granny, Oh, Granny, our mum won't even get the hang of it because she's so untechnical. But you will. It'll be fine. It's good to get a compliment like that. Those e-cards you can find and send off are just great. And if they are beautiful and the other person gets it and then gives you a compliment, well, that's just wonderful. I find this very enriching. I really do. Yes, I really do. I can't imagine my life without it. I'm happy I was given this chance. For me, it's really terrific. We'll explore this in further research and have a look at other research studies that possibly do their implementation a little more robustly. But nevertheless, this research does give us an indication that this intervention is plausible. Thanks for listening and we'll see you on our future episodes of Nurse on the Go video in our research series.